everybody, what's going on? Audrey here, welcome back to another video. If you are new to me, would love for you to tap that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. I post faith videos every single week, sprinkle a homeschool in there, which is what today is going to be. So, you looking to make some money while you're at home. All right, so I have seven ways that I pull in some income without making myself go insane right? All right. So let's, let's talk about this, right? I am a homeschool mom. Here we are. And I have been homeschooling now for, I can't believe it, almost five years, which is crazy. So here's a little background. My husband and I are entrepreneurs. We have owned our own businesses since college. Yes. I was a teacher for a little blip in time. And that was to help springboard and launch our real estate company. And, um, but yeah, we've been, we've been self-employed for quite some time and it's wonderful, allows us to travel. And so with that being said, being a homeschool mom, I thought, what can I do to generate income without taking away my time as my, like with my number one job, which is to take care of my husband and my children, uh, physically, emotionally, you know, feeding them, cleaning the house, doing the laundry and all that. So here are seven ways that I bring in money. And that seems like a lot, but check this out. The first way that I have actually brought in some money, and this is, some of this is kind of like a one and done, but twice a year, I actually purge our house because stuff gets brought in, things get brought in. And so I actually went through all of, I went through twice last year, which is when I was going through our house, I noticed that we had four pitchers, like four plastic party pitchers. And I thought, why do I need these? And as I started going through the house and we did a remodel last year and I, as we were going through, I tore apart my kitchen. I tore apart every single room in the house, seeing how like for a while, nobody could go anywhere. And I thought we need to start being more simple. Like I don't need this. We used to have a lot of parties. We did. Um, but we haven't, we haven't been having the big parties that we used to. And so I was like, you know what, let's just nix this. So now do I do garage sales? Nope. I don't because I don't want to spend for the amount of time that he would spend setting up, pricing everything out, sitting there all day. It's not worth my time. And so what I did was I just posted stuff on Facebook. I sent people messages that I knew needed stuff. I said, Hey, do you want this? Our homeschool groups groups. I posted stuff on there too. So that uh, is a nice couple hundred dollars throughout the year that I'm able to generate. So now let's go on to number two, which is Etsy. Now we used to have an all encompassing fitness business. I used to be a personal trainer and a nutrition counselor for small groups, families, corporations, and things like that. I dealt my own program. And so instead of just letting that die, because we are in the process of selling this whole packaged up business because part of it was actually training individuals to be personal trainers. So we had an education program that i um, given all the credit to my husband. He wrote the entire courses. I wrote the nutrition portion. And when our forces combined, we certified individuals to become personal trainers. And so all of that fitness stuff was just sitting on my computer. And I thought if I bundle this up and I package it, I can sell it on Etsy and it's awesome. And so all I did was I took my, I took my nutrition plans. I took the personal training programs. Uh, I added all kinds of directions and things like that and kind of prettied it up and whatnot. And so I sell my wellness books, personal training programs and, and so forth on Etsy. Uh, because why let it die? And so maybe there's something in your life that you've kind of kind of pushed to the side, but maybe you can actually make money with it. Maybe there's, you know, an essay that you've written that, you know, there's, there's those different programs where you can help 
others like with essays and things like that or you can post yours up and make money off of it you can start a blog I don't know anyway going off on a tangent the Etsy stuff actually does bring me that's another couple hundred dollars that 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 pulls in as well number three is teachers pay teachers so here's the thing is that I am a firm believer in testing my children and with testing my children I started creating tests for them because sometimes, especially with the Apologia curriculum, it doesn't come with a test bundle. Now for the older kids and the older books, it does, but for the elementary, it doesn't. And when I looked on Teachers Pay Teachers, sometimes they had tests, other times they didn't. The course that we're doing this year did not have a test with it because it was a brand new program, which is awesome. It's a great program and a great book. So what I had to do is I had to create tests for every single chapter and I was able to adapt those tests to my daughter and push her. So it has critical thinking questions and essays and you have to label things and so forth. So for the botany curriculum, I created my own tests and I've done that for a lot of different programs uh, besides that as well. Now, another thing that I've done too is I've created like incentive cards and things that apply to students. Here's the thing. Remember how I mentioned that I was a PE teacher? Well, I said I was a teacher. I was a PE teacher. And the stuff that I created, the assignments that I created, I've repurposed those and I sell those on Teachers Pay Teachers as well. And so every so often it'll be like, you just made a sale on teachers pay teachers. I'm like, Oh, cool. That's awesome. So that is my number three. Number four, I am a partner with two different homeschool platforms. The first one is homeschool teachers. And this is a phenomenal company. What it is, is teachers who offer their services. So it's tutoring, it's online tutoring for homeschoolers. So if you are stuck on something, there is a teacher for you. And so when you sign up, like if you click the link, if you sign up for a, um, like a little trial and stuff, I get a little kickback from that at no extra charge to you. So it's great. It really is. It's wonderful. Um, and it's a great company. The other one that I am part of is Night Zookeeper. It is a writing program that's pretty fun. So we do IEW. However, our six-year-old does Night Zookeeper, and it's a pretty funny program that helps the kids to write, and there's someone else on the other side, like there's a, whoa, big hands. There's a teacher who checks their work and provides feedback and so forth. And so he calls that his dessert of the day. Like when he's done with all of his other schoolwork, he, he says, Hey, can I go do night zoo now? I was like, yeah, sure. So how I get paid uh, from night zookeeper is if you sign up, I get a percentage of a commission. If you sign up, like you'll get, you know, first like seven days free. And so, yeah, I get paid like that too. So go check out Night Zookeeper and Homeschool Teachers. Okay, now, number six, Amazon and other affiliate companies. So who am I an affiliate with? I am an affiliate with Amazon. So if you go to my shop, amazon.com slash shop slash Audrey Horn, you will be taken to all of my top products. Every single product that is in there are products, books, things that I have purchased for myself or they have been given to me. So in general, every single thing that you see on there, I have personally used. I don't put anything on there that I haven't used because that is shady and that is gross, but every single thing that you see on there. Now, how does Amazon pay? It's like pennies on the dollar. So it takes a lot to earn from, uh, because everything is different. Like they, they have certain things that you're paid out more for or less for, uh, and their payout is later too. So some of what I'm talking about, they pay monthly. Like it is on the spot, they pay monthly, but things like Amazon, you have to wait another like month and a half for it to process. So it's quite a... It's quite a long period of time um, if you're looking to like get that quick cash. Um, but yeah, every other month I'll make like $15. 
off that. So that's another, that's another little chink in the bank. Um, now here we go. Another one that I'm part of is reward style. So I'm going to try and be more familiar with this, but the payouts with that is really cool. Go check out reward style and then YouTube. All right. Now, if you are looking to do YouTube as a full-time gig, sure, like your channel can just completely launch out. The thing about YouTube though, is that it helps you to yes, build your brand, but it also, the, the thing about, the thing about this is that YouTube helps you to branch out into things like teachers pay teachers and Etsy because I want to help people. So YouTube is almost like you come here for free and that's great because you don't pay, like nobody pays for YouTube. Um, I get paid from the sponsors. Now, how much do I get paid right now? It's not that much. I get paid way more from all of these other companies. Um, me personally selling things, Etsy, Teachers Pay Teachers, Color Street, Homeschool Teachers, Night Zookeeper, and then my little tinks of Amazon that, that float in. All right, here's another really cool thing. Number seven, free products. So over the past couple of months, I have been contacted by companies who want to give me their product so that I can use it. And then I share it with you and I say, do I like it? Do I not like it? And so forth. How do I get paid? I get paid in the products themselves. A lot of these products I'm buying anyway, like vitamins. I needed a shower cap. I got a shower cap. Um, what else did I get? The vitamins is like the biggest one to me because vitamins can be expensive, but I want my kids to have, and myself to have vitamins. And so by getting those, then I'm not having to dish out money to buy the products. They're just, they're giving me the products that I already was going to buy anyway. So that, that to me is huge. So instead of, and my husband was really excited about that too. He was like, where all these vitamins come from? And I was like, I just, got them for being an influencer, you know, on social media. So it's really cool. Now I just mentioned seven things that I'm part of. How much time am I actually spending? Well, the Etsy and teachers pay teachers. That's a set it and forget it. Um, and I check on it, you know, and I'm like, and I'm, I'm coming up with different creations. So that is on my own personal time. Am I going to come up with another project that I can put out there. Right now I'm not. So take those two off. Am I selling things? Not yet, but when we start to move, so that's a seasonal thing, right? So that's another one taken off. The homeschool teachers and night zookeeper, that is a set it and forget it. I just need to mention it to you during my videos and then in talking with people. So that really doesn't take up enough um, a ton of time. Amazon and reward style, that's a set it and forget it because once my store is there, fine. The biggest thing is YouTube. That's the biggest thing. And so I will set and batch record and then batch edit. I operate off of a block schedule. And so I do not record every single week. I'll sit and record two or three videos at a time uh, to try and kind of stay ahead of myself, which is super helpful. And then I'll sit down over the course of a couple days edit those out and then I don't have to worry about that for several weeks. So I block schedule my time um, and then the free products all I have to do is just get on Instagram or Facebook and say, hey, I'm using this, here's why I love it, thank you so much for sponsoring me, but that is with a program, a company called Stack Influencers. So am I making like $100,000 a year doing this? No. Am I making $40,000 a year doing this? No. Here's what I'm able to pay for though. My gas, our groceries, that's a win. Like being able to like tick those off, I'm like cool, that's amazing. So yeah, so a couple a couple thousand dollars, um, couple thousand dollars, I'm good with that for now. Um, again, we were self-employed, my husband and I, you know, work together. He is the front runner right now. Um, I used to be more part of it with him, um, but with having three kids, and homeschooling and taking care of everyone, that is my number one job. So I still am his business partner through and through. And then I got these little side hustles that 
honestly, they're, they're snowballing without making me feel like I'm going insane because when that happens, that means that something needs to go. So, but for right now, I'm happy where, where we're at. So that's seven ways that I bring in a little extra dough. And uh, yeah, let me know what you do. Uh, if you do anything, leave me a comment below. Make sure to check out all of the links uh, for what I've talked about below. And I will catch up with you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye. Hey, y'all, since recording this video, I actually have signed up to be a consultant with Beauty Counter. And the reason for me joining is I've been having some skin issues, not acne related. It's more, I keep breaking out in hives um, and I can't wear certain makeup. I can't use certain products on my face because I'll either break out in hives all over my entire body or, um, or my face will start burning and my eyes will start tearing and things like that. And I was introduced to Beauty Counter and the benefits of it. I was actually educated in it. And uh, this is absolutely a company that I can stand behind. So since recording this video, I am now a uh, beauty counter consultant. And I'm proud to be because this is in all the businesses that my husband and I have been involved in. This truly is one of my favorites. So I'll do some, some other video stories, Instagram posts and things like that in the future on it. But I absolutely love their products. This is a hobby for me and in one of my self care videos that is coming out. Um, I talk about Beauty Counter and how I've been using it to self-care as well. So remember to check the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. Thank you to those of you who are a continuous support of everything that I have done. Thank you for your prayers. God bless all of you.